car like this always becomes an icon, right? So the whole process of like development and the whole history of the car before it was actually launched, I knew it was gonna be something special. And I saw the car in the design studio and the proposal of what the car would, was going to be. Immediately came to me that maybe this should be the Senna car. I see all the young kids now that never had the opportunity to see Ayrton. Good looking at the car, and then suddenly a connection is made with the past. And for us, this is fantastic because it keeps the memory going, keeps the memory alive, and an icon such as this really makes a big difference. The first time I drove the prototype McLaren Senna, what caught me by surprise really was the potential of the car, how much it has to offer above what the fast road car standard is nowadays. It has so much power, so much grip. Uh, it's so raw in so many ways. It really brings the race car to the road as much as possible. In a certain way, it might start separating good drivers from very good drivers that can really extract the performance of a race car and those who can't. This car has been the most customized McLaren in, in history. MSO has done, has done a lot of work with the customers and you can see that the vast majority of the customized cars, they have some Ayrton specific team or Jen and Jeremy, they have a Sempre, which means always, Senna Sempre, which is Senna always. This is the type of thing that you don't expect the customers to even understand, especially people that don't speak Portuguese, right? So there's so many of these like little details that make us really feel like they are emotionally connected. The nicest thing about everybody who's here is that they all want to improve, they want to get better, they want to learn. They want to just come and talk to you, say what happened to them and share the experience. So it's been a fantastic time with the rally and uh, all days we had such a great experience. McLaren Senna project is benefiting mostly the foundation, the Instituto Ayrton Senna, which is the foundation we have in Brazil. Having the chance to speak about the foundation, about what we do, was great. You know, the customers love that as well because uh, they feel that, you know, they have the emotional uh, feeling of getting a supercar, a Senna car, you know, the connection with Ayrton but at the same time they know that part of the revenue goes to the foundation, you know. The customers know the importance of what we are doing in Brazil, how we are changing the lives of the Brazilian uh, population, and you know, that they are part of that. McLaren had helped almost one million children in Brazil because of this partnership. I think the car made us reach new levels of awareness and also for the foundation opened a lot of doors. I hope that's just the beginning. We always try to make long-lasting partnerships. That's, you know, the way that our family is, that's how McLaren is, so it should be something that will carry on. These experiences show me how there's a part of McLaren customers that is uh, not only connected with McLaren, but with the history of McLaren. And in this case, it's, uh, Ayrton is a big part of McLaren history. And I think you see how much of it it was when you hang out with the guys who uh, had the Senna's. It really shows how his memory is still very much alive. For us, it's amazing. <laughs>